Okay, so uh, remember the concept of backward induction. The idea is always uh, finding the optimal strategies and for that reason we start the lost moving players find their optimal strategies. The, the reason why we move from the, uh, I'm sorry, start from the last moving uh, uh, players is because their uh, optimal strategies doesn't depend on anybody else's strategy because they are the last movers. And so whenever they choose some action, the game will be over. And so, uh, you know, we can relate uh, their strategy choices with outcomes very easily. Uh, for example, if, if you, at first, if you look at the first player, and then let's suppose there are like four other players moving after him, well, his optimal strategy or his payoff will depend on what the other four guys do, all right? So without knowing what those four guys' optimal strategies are, you cannot really pinpoint what the optimal strategy for the first guy will do, will be. And so for that reason, we start from the last moving player. All right, so here, uh, you know, few things that I wanted to underline. A strategy profile that we construct by using the backward induction is always a Nash equilibrium strategy profile, okay? So by using backward induction, we actually find Nash equilibrium. We don't find something else, all right? So this game, if it has a Nash equilibrium, we actually pinpoint it uh, with subgame perfect Nash equilibrium, uh, with backward induction. All right, and we call these strategy profiles as subgame perfect Nash equilibrium or SPNE uh, uh, strategy profiles. That means in every game, every subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. By the way, I didn't talk about or differentiate pure or mixed strategies, but this is true whether we are looking for pure strategies or mixed strategies, every SPNE, Subgame Perfect Nash Equilibrium Strategy Profile, is also a Nash Equilibrium Strategy Profile, but the converse is not true. If you remember our very first example, Firm 1 and Firm 2 moves, there are two Nash Equilibria, but there's only one Subgame Perfect Nash Equilibrium. If you use this idea of backward induction, you're going to eliminate one of the Nash Equilibria. So, Every SPNE is a Nash, but the converse is not true. What does that mean? That means in a game, if this is a set of Nash equilibrium strategy profiles, maybe there are, you know, maybe there's only one Nash equilibrium, or maybe there are infinitely many. We don't know. But the thing is, some game perfect Nash equilibrium strategy profiles will always be a subset of this uh, this set. Okay, but don't forget. This is uh, about uh, pure and mixed included, all right? What does that mean? That means maybe the original game has no pure strategy Nash equilibrium, or maybe it has, but maybe the game uh, doesn't have a pure strategy subgame perfect Nash equilibrium, but there may be a, a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. Also, one more thing that we didn't really talk about it uh, in our earlier videos, uh, but, the, but every finite game, meaning game with finite number of players, finite number of strategies, uh, or the, the strategies may be infinite, but then the utility functions are continuous. So let's focus on finite games. Every finite game has at least one Nash equilibrium, all right? Maybe in pure strategies, maybe in mixed strategies, but every finite game has a Nash equilibrium. All right, and again, every game, every maybe infinite or finite game with continuous uh, utility function and compact uh, closed and bounded, let's call it strategy sets. For example, a Cournot game or, or uh, yeah, for, for example, Cournot game uh, is, has an infinitely many strategies, but the continue, uh, the utility function or the payoff function, which is the profit function is continuous. And this set of strategies is compact. And so, uh, so function and compact strategy sets has uh, a Nash equilibrium. 
equilibrium. Well, I mean, in fact, we can make these results stronger and stronger. It really doesn't have to be compact. Uh, the, 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 the set of strategies, but then we have to have a stronger conditions on other things like convexity of uh, strategy sets, uh, concavity of the utility functions or boundedness of the utility functions. So, I mean, uh, yes, you know, the things can get, uh, I mean, we can relax uh, the assumptions of this, uh, these theorems. The, the bottom line is that almost all games that we consider has a Nash equilibrium, maybe in pure strategies, maybe in mixed strategies. So there are you know, some games uh, where things are not normal, uh, like for example, discontinuous utility function, all right, or weird uh, domains, then they may not have a Nash equilibrium, but these are exceptions uh, rather, at least for uh, you know, type of the games we're going to consider in this course. Okay.